My name is Rodrigo Garcia, and this is my organizational design structure and change presentation. I hope you like it. So for this, presen for this presentation, I chose the company Amazon, and my objectives are uh, identify Amazon's and the performance, ramifications of them, the performance, consequences, organizational structure, organizational culture, organizational effectiveness. I'm gonna be talking about the organization's principles and values to core a step change model, the possible cha changes and challenges of the suggested ch uh, change, and the lessons I learned from this presentation. So Amazon is the largest online retailer of the world. Amazon was founded by Jeff Bezos in 1994. Amazon.com went live in July 1995 as a virtual shop for books with obsessive focus on customers and customer experience. What it started as a virtual bookstore quickly became the largest retail platform where anyone could sell their goods to their customers. To their customers. It currently has, it currently has over a million employees across the United States and delivers goods overseas. Amazon has been part of the most of my list of the of the top companies in the United States, published by Fortune Magazine every year. The tremendous success of Amazon over the last two decades has run the company number two of the, of the country just below Apple. The criteria for this list is based on eight dimensions, innovativeness, quality of management, long-term investment value, social responsibility to the community and the environment, people management, quality, quality of products and services, financial soundness, and wise use of corporate assets. Now we're gonna get into the companies and the performance. One of the major issues Amazon is facing with the A dimension, within the A dimension is social responsibility to the community and people management. This is due to the high demand by customers and the company's obsession to fulfill customers' need in, a, in an unrealistic timeframe. The Amazon Prime was created uh, with the purpose of providing a two-day shipping for free. Uh, this program forced the company to boost productivity to an extent where employees were being pushed incredibly hard to meet their rate for productivity. Work, workers claimed that the rates were unrealistic and they were being treated as robots rather than human beings to meet the daily, the daily rates. Uh, the, the ramification and consequence of underperformance high employee turnover. Employees will not last on the position if the, con if the conditions they were under do not change and issues are not solved. By reputation, Amazon's reputation is hurt when employees talk nothing but bad things about the company, causing loss of clients' trust and loyalty, decreasing productivity. As, consequ as a consequence of exploring leaving the company, it highly affects the productivity and lack of consistent revenue. With no employees to pick and pack items, it makes it hard for the company to generate consistent revenue. Amazon organizational structure. So as you can see here, this is a, a, an organizational chart uh, with the session of Jeff Bezos because the new CEO of Amazon is Andy Jassy. You can see the top people, the top uh, positions at the at the, at the company and how the departments are divided. And of course, there are way more employees under each uh, department. These are just the people who, who are at the top making the important decisions and running the company. Uh, organizational structure is responsible for the way the organization works to achieve their goals. When the organizational structure is well-developed and adjusted to the, to the organizational needs, it results in greater, in greater organizational outcomes and less conflict. This is Amazon's organizational hierarchy chart formed by the CEO at the top. As I said, the new CEO is uh, Andy Jassy and the senior executive management and the, and the senior ex executive and managers, which are just below the CEO. These are professionals who are running different sectors of the company, which ultimately impact the entire company. Amazon's organizational structure is a functional one, which divides the major functions of the, of the business into different sectors and defines the reporting relationships among these sectors. 
organizational design. Uh, organizational design is responsible for selecting and, ma and managing different components of organizational structure and culture to enable the organizations to achieve its goals. Griffin, 2019. Uh, Amazon's organizational design has been very successful and aligned with the organizational needs. Even though they, continu they continuously face different issues along the way due to the rapidly growth of Amazon and the obsession for their customer, they adapt and continuously experiment different ways to provide a better service and the best tools and technology to meet those needs in record time. Now we're gonna move into Amazon's culture. Organizational culture is the set of values, norms, and assumptions that the organization promotes to their employees. Amazon's culture is about continuous innovation and customer satisfaction. This is where I believe Amazon must change to, to a more stakeholder-oriented mindset and care more about employee safety, health, and well-being rather than just customer satisfaction. It is a fact that this type of culture has brought tremendous success to the organization, but it will hurt different aspects of the company in the long term. Now we're gonna be talking about Amazon's principles and values. Amazon is, guide, is guided by four principles, customer obsession rather than, rather than competitor focus, a passion for in, invention, commitment to operation, operational excellence, and long-term thinking. Amazon is quite not a fit for a conscious culture. Conscious culture is the foundation between leadership and employees as as it encourages respect, care, dignity, and trust among all, its, among all its stakeholders. As I say early in the slides, one of the major issues Amazon deals with is the lack of care, respect, dignity towards its, toward its employees. The short time frame to pick and pack items and non-stop deliveries, and the two-day shipping has made employees across the country go on strike against the company and quit their job because of se severe working conditions. This is something Amazon must improve. This is something Amazon must improve at since culture is probably the most important component for a company's competitive advantage. Now we're gonna be talking about the course A step change model. Uh, in order to introduce change to employees, Amazon should apply the core step change model. This change model will minimize resistance to change and ensure the long-term success if applied correctly. The first step, as you can see here, you have eight steps in the chart. One is create, two is build, form, enlist, enable, generate, sustain, and the last one is institute. So we're gonna get in, 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 in depth in every step now. The first step is to create a sense of urgency. This means helping others see and understand this, the importance of, of such change. The second step is to build a guiding correlation. You must first convince those who have the power to influence others to act as advocates for the change. Then form a strategic division for change. We will move, we, now we will move on to the next three steps, which, which is where the organization engage and enables their employees to take action to, to, to incorporate changes. And these, these steps are enlist, enable, and generate. And the last two steps are implementing and, sus and sustaining the change. Change suggestions. In my opinion, change is vital for all organizations to improve in those aspects where they are either underperforming or facing, or facing issues. In this case, Amazon certainly needs to improve in different departments and ways they run the company, regardless of the success they have had over the past two decades. Regarding the issue with their bottom employees who feel like they are being treated as machines to meet Ray, my suggestion is to make a drastic change to make employees feel more valuable, safe, and satisfied with their job, since, em since employees are the most important assets of a company. The only way to do that is by shifting 
their vision to a more stakeholder oriented rather than customer obsession only. Possible challenges. The possible challenges to the suggested change will be mainly economic because they will either build more warehouse and hire people and hire more people to give employer a reasonable time to hit the deliverables appropriately or change the way they handle prime deliveries. Instead of delivering package in one or two days, they should extend the time to three or four days. This change might impact the business economically, but it will give them more longevity and long-term success. So now here we have all the types of systems that there are within a, a business. Uh, as you can see here in the chart, we have goals and values subsystem, managerial subsystem, psycho, psychosocial subsystem, psycho, psychosocial subsystem, technical subsystem, and a structural subsystem. Uh, the subsystem that need to be realigned in Amazon system in order to bring that change are goals and values subsystem and psychological. Culture human, culture, human resources, perceptions, motivation, and leadership need to be prioritized, prioritized to better assist and treat employees. And finally, the lessons are learned from this presentation, from this project, is that no matter how successful the, the organization is, there will always be issues to solve that, to solve that affect your business negatively. The importance of conscious culture and servant leadership to better understand, support, and motivate employees and achieve the desired organizational outcomes. The power of conscious capitalism and being driven by a higher purpose. This goes beyond making money. It is about providing true value, not only to your customers, but also employees. These are my reference. I hope you enjoy my presentation.